Good evening, parents and caregivers of the Thomas Wooten community. My name is Douglas Nelson, and I'm proud to return to my role as principal of Wooten High School. It is back to school night. On behalf of the entire Wooten High School staff, I would like to welcome you here for tonight's event. The evening will move quickly, but I truly hope that you will walk away with a better understanding of who will be teaching your student and what they will be learning this year. Administrator assignments have changed for this school year. Last year, administrators were assigned to grade levels. The administrative team met and determined we could offer more focused student support by shifting from grade level assignments to alphabetical assignments. For most of you, the thing that you need to know is that administrators will have students at all grade levels and students are assigned to an administrator by the first letter of their last name. One major benefit from an assignment like this is administrators will now work with the same two to three counselors consistently, as counseling services is already set up this way. Hence, we will have a more focused team for each student at Wooten. We have two administrators joining the team. Three administrators are back for another year. Please welcome Ms. Bro and Ms. Gardner. Ms. Bro is an acting assistant principal this year. Previously, she was a teacher in the CTE department where she oversaw the internship program and taught personal finance. Ms. Gardner is new to Wooten, coming to us from Paint Branch High School where she was the media specialist. Ms. Gardner is the assistant school administrator this year. Ms. Gardner and Ms. Bro have offices in the main office. Mr. Rohner and Ms. Laby are returning this year as assistant principals. Ms. De La Rosa returns as our school business administrator. Welcome all of them back to their very important roles in the school. Mr. Rohner and Ms. Laby have offices this year in the lower admin suite, which is near the lower entrance to the school, and Ms. De La Rosa can be found in the main office. Each administrator will have more to share with you later in the video. A great way to know what's going on in our school community is to follow our award-winning award school newspaper, Common Sense. You will read about our sports teams, clubs, organizations, and classrooms, as well as the opinions students hold on all of these topics. The easiest way to follow Common Sense is to download the app, Student News Source. You can also check out the website and follow the Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook accounts. Please support our student journalists in their critically important work by subscribing. You can do that tonight at the table in the Commons or find information on the website. Please also join the amazing Wooten PTSA. This organization supports Wooten in countless ways. It's a very reasonable fee to join this group and the funds will directly support your child's experience here at Wooten. Your support of this organization is extremely important. Please be sure to join and volunteer this year to support their efforts. The truth is, we need parent support at our school. While it feels that students have fully returned to Wooten, we would benefit from a greater parental presence. Please be sure to be part of the fantastic community here at Wooten. MCPS created the new Pathway to College Career and Community Readiness, which helps identify students' strengths and areas of improvement to ensure each student receives the support that they need. Here's how it works. Data reflecting a variety of classroom, local, and state assessments will be collected and published on the District Pathway Dashboard on the MCPS website. The data and information collected will be used to address any learning gaps before students transition to a new grade level, college, or to the workforce. Parents will receive information about whether their child is meeting or not meeting these specific benchmarks. School staff, students, and families will meet together to decide the best way to help the students succeed. In addition to academic benchmarks, schools will also provide opportunities for students to cultivate core competencies and skills to prepare them for life after high school. Be sure to view the video about Pathways. It has also been shared with you through the community update. MCPS created a new guide to help families, students, and teachers work together to ensure all students are successful. The guide's name, The Pathway to College Career and Community Readiness. Its main goal, to identify a student's strengths and needs so schools can provide targeted supports and interventions. Here's how it works. Schools collect student data in two key areas, academic milestones and core competencies. Parents will receive information about whether their child is meeting or not meeting these specific benchmarks. The milestones are measured by a variety of classroom, local, and state exams. Each helps predict if students are learning academic concepts on time and are on the road to graduation. 
The data and information collected will be used to address any learning gaps before students transition to new grade levels, college, or the workforce. Milestones include Early literacy skills Reading by grade 3 Meet or exceed grade level or course standards in mathematics and English language arts On track for graduation College and career readiness Complete and pass Algebra 2 with a grade of C or higher Graduation These academic milestones work hand in hand with our core competencies. The core competencies include such areas as leadership, career development, digital technology, teamwork, ethics, critical thinking, and well-being. Experiences with these competencies will be threaded throughout daily instruction and cultivated by system-wide activities such as outdoor ed, music programs, sports, field trips, finance park, and college fairs. By measuring these core competencies and academic milestones, MCPS has created a powerful guide to provide greater opportunities and supports for students and to prepare them for their future. To learn more, visit this website. Good evening, Wooten families. I'm Brian Rabin, president of the Wooten High School Parent Teacher Student Association, otherwise known as PTSA. Thank you for joining us tonight for Back to School Night. I would like to provide a warm welcome to our new Wooten families and welcome back to our returning families. I hope everyone had a wonderful summer, full of wonderful vacations and other fun activities. I am looking forward to a great school year. In my day job, I serve as an executive officer at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services in the Office of the Secretary. My youngest of three is a freshman at Wooten this year. I am pleased to be serving as your PTSA president for the next two years. The PTSA is a membership-based nonprofit organization that is open to all members of our school community, including parents, teachers, and students. The Wooten PTSA is chartered under the Free State PTA, our state PTA, and affiliated with National PTA. Please purchase your annual PTSA membership today to help us support the needs of Wooten. The cost of membership is $76 for a family membership, which includes two parents and one student, or $35 for one parent families, and $6 for teachers and students. Your PTSA membership makes it possible for us to serve the Wooten School community in so many ways, such as providing teacher appreciation activities and gifts, giving out funds to teachers and students throughout the PTSA Grants Program, leading the Holiday Helping Hands Program, our Community Outreach Program, the Wooten College Fair, the Wooten Cluster Fall Festival, homecoming events, monthly guest speakers, the monthly principal virtual coffee chats, advocacy for Wooten's renovation and fixing ADA issues, and PTSA provides a strong voice for our community on many other MCPS issues. Teacher and student PTSA members are eligible for the PTSA Grants Program. Last year, the PTSA Grants Committee approved more than $8,000 in grants to students and teachers, and we purchased a new marching band baritone. The Holiday Helping Hands Program was a great success thanks to our generous families. We raised more than $20,000 for the Holiday Helping Hands Program, which provided necessities and gifts to 31 families and 78 children during the holiday season. Wooten PTSA membership meetings are held on the third Tuesday of the month at 7 p.m. Join us for excellent speakers discussing a variety of topics at each meeting. All meetings will be virtual. Every meeting is recorded and posted to our YouTube channel in case you are unable to tune in live. Also, each month, Wooten PTSA hosts the principal's virtual coffee chats. The chats take place on the third Friday of the month. Wooten High School has many needs and PTSA raises funds throughout the year to support our school. There will be multiple fundraisers during the school year, including a big spring fundraiser. You can also make a direct donation to PTSA at any time. Gear up for the school year by purchasing your Wooten gear today from the PTSA store on squadlocker.com. You can find the link on the Wooten PTSA website. Squad Locker provides 10% of the proceeds back to PTSA. PTSA is a volunteer-based organization. We are dependent on volunteers like you to manage the organization and to plan events. Please consider giving some of your time to this worthwhile effort to support our school community. We have several vacant positions. You can find the roles and responsibilities for each position on the Wooten PTSA website. I hope you join us for the first PTSA meeting of the school year on September 19th at 7 p.m. We have our principal, Mr. Doug Nelson, our school administrators, our resource counselors, counselor, Arielle Markowitz, 
and our school social worker, Alexis Branham, as our speakers for the evening. Mark your calendars for three events coming up in October. On Tuesday, October 3rd, the annual PTSA-sponsored college fair will take place at Wooten in the upper parking lot. We are expecting more than 70 colleges and universities to participate. This is an excellent opportunity for Wooten students and parents to meet with college representatives. On Friday, October 6th, volunteers will be needed to give out snacks and drinks for homecoming. On Saturday, October 14th, we hope to see you at the annual Wooten Cluster Fall Festival that is open to the entire Wooten community from all nine of Wooten's cluster schools. To learn more about Wooten PTSA, go to our website at wootenptsa.org. You can also find a link to our website on the Wooten High School homepage. Please come visit us in the Commons tonight to get your PTSA membership. I look forward to meeting you at the PTSA membership table tonight or sometime soon. Have a great back to school night and a great school year. Hello, my name is Margaret Bro, and I am the acting assistant principal this year. Previously, I was the internship coordinator, personal finance teacher, and the CCRD teacher here at Wooten. Prior to that, I was a consulting teacher. I'm super excited to be working as an administrator this year. I will be working with students whose last names begin with A through F. I will also be supporting the English, Arts, PE, and Music Department, as well as the ELD program. I look forward to seeing all students at school events and showing their Patriot Pride spirit. Have a great night. Hello, my name is Arlene De La Rosa and I'm the School Business Administrator here at Wooten High School. I oversee the building use, reservations, and school financials. I also oversee the building service, cafeteria, and financial staff. Stop by my office if you have any questions or concerns and I'll be happy to help. Welcome back Wooten Patriots. My name is Eileen Gardner and I am so excited to be joining Wooten as your assistant school administrator. This year, I will be supporting those students and families with last names G through L. I will also be supporting our special education department and our world languages department. One piece of advice I have for students is step out of your comfort zone this year and try something new. Whether it is a club, a sport, or attending an event you've never been to before, just try it. I look forward to meeting you and hope to see you involved and engaged in all the wonderful events we sponsor here at Wooten High School. It is going to be a great year. Hello, Wooten Patriots. For those of you returning, welcome back. If you're a new staff or a new student, welcome to Wooten. We're so happy to have you here. My name is Stephanie Laby, and I am one of the assistant principals. And if your last name is between M and R, I will be your supporting administrator this year. I will also be supporting the 11th and 12th grade events, such as prom, senior picnic, junior banquet, as well as numerous other school events. I can't wait to see you out and about. Welcome back, parents, to Back to School Night. I'm Brad Rohner. This has been my home for four years now, Wooten High School, and I love it. This year, I, have, I oversee and support all students with the last name S through Z. I also have a major, major testing coordinator position and I oversee the AP testing. I just encourage all of you as those who are new to Wooten and those returning, make sure your students become active in Wooten and you yourselves be part of Wooten and the Wooten family. We love it here, I love it here, and I wish you have a wonderful evening. Thank you.